Hey everybody, it's Zero Gear Plus, and I'm wearing a Link hat. Welcome back to Let's Play! Uh oh. Revenge of the Bikers. No, Pokemon Leaf Green! The reason why I don't look this good with my hat on is because underneath this hat hides bedhead. Um, off screen, I took the liberty of um, giving my rare candies to Shirty Ken because I just want to. I want to level him up and get him some water moves. I don't know if he learns any naturally. I think most of the moves that he's ever going to learn is going to be through teaching him through like TMs and stuff. But I don't know, so we're going to have to find out together. Now, I'm showing this guy on screen because, one, he has two Pokemon, two, hindsight's just going to take them all out. This is a great place to level up your Pokemon for fighting the next gym leader because it is a huge step in difficulty. I'll tell you right now, Koga has level 40 Pokemon when only one of my Pokemon has only even made it to 30 so far. And what's really good is the fact that since he's a Poison-type trainer, I can just, like, level up the hindsight here on all of these bikers and cue balls on this bike path and just wipe out Koga entirely just with hindsight. It's a possibility. I don't know if that's going to be my strategy. I mean, I basically, I took out all of, all of Erica, all of Erica's minions, and of course, oh, hi! I'm just going to show a few of these. I'm only a minute and 50 seconds into the video. Cue ball, Koji. Sent up to my chop. So psychic type, physic, mm, fighting types also weak to psychic. So you just, it doesn't matter. Excuse me, it doesn't matter what you do down here. Just as long as you bring a psychic buddy with you. So if you didn't catch a Machop, not a Machop, so if you didn't catch an Abra, like back in like Cerulean or even for even earlier on if you could find one, uh, you can buy them for coins, like 120 coins in the Celadon Game Corner Shop. But you get them at level 5 and they're kind of weak and all they know is teleport and you'd have to do all the grinding that I did that was a pain in the neck. But hey, it pays off, I mean, look what I got. What is he sending out? I'm gonna guess Machop. Yep. If only Psybeam had more uses. I'm surprised it has 20, you know? It seems like 15 would be a better... Because it's just so broken. Of course you didn't level up. Of course you didn't level up. So, he is on point, right? Okay, for some strange reason that wasn't clicking in my head that he was. Okay, he just totally got away with murder. Now, in this wild grass, I believe you can find some Pokemon that I don't care about. Like this Raticate, that will soon perish. Okay, I, I expected a little bit more, but that's fine. The only thing stronger than Psybeam for a, for a Psychic Pokemon is Psychic. And that's an amazing move. In fact, I think Hindsight will learn that naturally. When, I'm not sure, but I do think he learns it naturally. Which is why, since there's a TM of Psychic in the game, I'm going to give that to Shuriken. Because he can... Oh! Future Sight! If this is the one that I think it is, I might want it. No, 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 no. Okay, I want to see what it does. Delete. Yes. Okay, let's see what it does. Two turns after this move is used, foe is attacked physically, even though he doesn't have that good of a... F. He doesn't have that good of an attack stat. And I can't replace Flash, which is really the only one I wouldn't use. I don't need it. No. No! No! Stop learning to- Yes! I did not learn it. 
And it'll come back to bite me later. So, while we're on our way to Fusion, there's some cool stuff that we're going to be able to do once we get there. Fusion's a great city. And I can't wait to get there. Oh, what do you know? We're there. This is the much faster way of getting there than via the opposite side where Lavender Town is, and then you go back by where Vermilion is, and this is just much faster. So, I might as well start off the video with that, because we'll spend a lot of time in there. Uh, we're going to check out one of this city's main attractions. Possibly get an HM in the process. Everybody, I welcome you to... The Safari Zone! You can pay 500 Poké Dollars, which isn't that much considering this point in the game. Would I like to play? Yes. So, they say you're timed, but that's not true. You actually get a certain number of steps, and after those, after you've taken that number of steps, they automatically escort you out. So, if you're gonna go for what I'm trying to go for, which I don't remember in the least how to get to it, um, you're gonna want to take as straight a route as possible. But I have 600 steps, so maybe I can just get away with harder. Or not at all. Well, let's see what kind of Pokemon that we have to look forward to. Ooh, a Rhyhorn! Level 25 at that. I'm not a rock! Uh, please just run away. No, he's angry. So the way that this Safari Zone works is they give you 30 Safari Balls with which to catch your Pokemon. Any Pokemon that you desire. Now, not all Pokemon, seeing as the Pokemon are at full health, it's going to be kind of, whoa, a neat arena. Okay. Now, seeing as the Pokemon are at full health, you're not necessarily going to be able to catch them that easily with just a Pokeball. You can throw bait at the Pokemon, which makes them harder to catch, but more likely to stay. Or you can go the opposite route and throw a rock, which makes them easier to stay, which makes them easier to catch, but more likely to run away. So it's kind of the lesser of two evils. Do you want to try 50,000 times after using bait and waste all your... I'm not cutting. I'm not cutting. I'm not cutting this out. Just run from the Neat Arena. Ooh, Sunny Day! That'll be a great Pokemon. Pokemon. That'll be a great technique to have. It's an amazing move. And a full restore. Can't go wrong with that. If I don't... Excuse me. If I don't get all the treasure on one run... I, I'm probably gonna come back here off screen and get all these treasures, because there's some pretty nasty treasures in here that are awesome for your Pokemon to have. Like, Sunny Day, I think I'm gonna give that to Charmeleon. That's a really good move. And, um, when Victory Bell learns Solar Beam, that'll make it so that, it won't, so that I won't have to take two turns to charge up a Solar Beam, and I went the wrong way. I think I end up wanting to go that way, but I want to get that Pokeball first. I have steps, so I'm not too worried about it, and I'm just gonna run from these Pokeballs! And these Pokemon, Pokemans. I can't believe I didn't get this Pokeball first. It was just a max potion, but I think it's worth it. The way I'm going through my steps, this isn't gonna be... Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to... Ah, stop ambushing me! Ooh, oh my god, a pincer! I actually want to catch one of these. Let's throw some bait. It, he took my bait and he ran. I hate you. This game offers you Pinsir as opposed to Scyther. Personally, I love Scyther a lot more than Pinsir, but what are you gonna do, right? So that's not right. I'm just in a room by myself. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough steps to do this. See, the problem is I just don't remember which way to go! This place is huge! Another Nidorino! Good for him. <sighs> Curse you, allergies! For anybody that has noticed by now, yes, I am wearing a green hat with a blue shirt. I just felt like wearing the hat, nothing more. Oh my god. 
Did I get it? Did I get here? Oh, I'm not gonna have enough steps. Where am I? Oh my god! I made it, I think. An execute. Uh, good Pokemon to have if you didn't get uh, Victory Bell, or Bell Sprout, because it's a Grass Psychic type as opposed to Grass Poison, but who's complaining? Okay, okay, I think. Hey. This isn't the house. Crap Ola. Luckily, you don't waste steps while you're in here, I think. You do! Okay! Crap! I'm gonna have to come in here off screen and get it. I did get some cool stuff, though. Now, there isn't actually that much to do in this town. Yes, this tree can be cut down, and that would be nice. So is this the old man that teaches you what I think he teaches you? I think it is. Yep, the warden. No, I don't have your teeth. See, it's amazing that I can read. He will give you H. He will give you the next HM, which is strength. Um, this is the fisher, fishing guru's older brother. He gives you the good rod. So I might as well take it. But I have the super rods. So that makes this totally worthless. You can catch much better Pokemon. Not really. Hmm. So, I could go to Route 15. No, I'm gonna stay in Fuchsia for a while. It's not worth it to me to go anywhere else at the moment. Not that there really is much to do here besides the Safari Zone and the gym. Pardon me. I'm just gonna check out some of these houses. <laughs> There's a lot of places here that I just simply don't remember. I've met Bill, he's my grandson, always like collecting things. Okay, that's good to know, because that just sounds like Bill. Oh, is this him? This is the move deleter! Thank you! I knew he was in this town. Um, what the move deleter does is he deletes Pokemon moves that you don't want anymore, but can't seem to get rid of because they're an HM. So, had I gotten here before... Uh, what's his name? Um, if I had gotten here before hindsight learned, uh, was el eligible rather to learn future sight, I would have gotten rid of Flash and made it so that he could use, make it so that he could learn future sight. I'm never gonna use Flash again. And the shortest this episode was, and considering how much I didn't get done, and I'm kind of sorry for that, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green! So, this is Zero Gear Plus signing off, and I will never wear this hat again unless my hair is done upright, because I look like crap wearing this thing.